Hello, I think we're live. I think so, so too. Hello, everyone. This is a special live stream. Um, sorry, I didn't give you much warning about it, but um, myself and Doug have just come back from holiday or vacation, as, as Doug likes to say. And we really wanted to do a stream together just to let you guys know um, about a really exciting playlist that we're about to make live in the next few minutes. So let's just wait uh, a couple of minutes, let people kind of get the notifications and get online. I think the viewers are starting to come in. Okay. Doug, if you cool. want to say hello. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm Doug Cunnington from Niche Site Project, and I do a lot of stuff with Amazon affiliate marketing. And I've been talking a lot about keyword research in the last two years or so. Talk a lot about the keyword golden ratio, which is getting a little traction. Some people definitely don't like it, but a lot of people do like it. And I think this playlist will help refine some of the questions around the details of the keyword golden ratio. Plus, I mean, this is really, we're calling it a master class, and I, I think it is. I mean, it's a few hours worth of content and it really walks you through like the concept of what the keyword golden ratio is. And then, you know, it really goes deep into, you know, how do you do it? What tools can you use to do it? So yeah, that that's really what this playlist is about. So, and I'm trying so to get over to the chat, questions. by the way tonight so. if you want to fire them in the chat I, I need to actually get the chat up and running let me have a look yes i'm having a look too and one thing i i did a short live stream earlier alex to let people know that there is a contest associated with this playlist so we're going to tell you all about it um coming up here in, in a minute or two once we get rolling yeah let's wait for a few more people to come on i think we're up to about 10 or so now do make yourself known in the chat. Say hello. Be good to hear from you. Say, Alex, where did you go on your holiday? I was in Norfolk, which is, um, if you look at Great Britain, it's the bit on the side at the top. <laughs> okay. um, really lovely old fishing town. I said I was staying in a cottage, which was built in 1640. I thought I'd let you know that because I know that in America, you haven't got anything <laughs> that's a, that old. <laughs> Um, but yeah, really old cottage, stairs like a ladder. Um, really? Unfortunately, the weather wasn't great, but you know, oh. we did some crabbing, as we call it, where you lower some bait in, catch yeah, some yeah. crabs, that kind of thing. That's the kids, cool. It was good fun, <laughs> and a few, nice. a few, a few pints of ale in the in the local inns. Yeah, and in, in out there, do the do they have like the casks out there? Uh, like, in, everybody has like their cask and cask like ale. A, yeah, proper English ale um which is good the the risk is you have to find pubs that keep their ale well i don't know and I, I know that you're into your beer as well doug but um yeah yeah they have to keep it well because it only lasts for like three or four days so you have to go to pubs that sell a reasonable amount of ale in order to make sure that it's nice and fresh and good yeah that's right yeah it, it's catching on in certain areas a lot of the bar i was in a place where there's a ton of breweries so portland oregon oh, yeah. i think they said there are like 200 in the metro area of portland there's just there's so many and a lot of places will have like one cask it's a bigger place they may have two but you know there's so many people going in and drinking beer they turn it pretty quick and they're pretty yeah, serious good. about you know it's still live in the barrel it's still you know got the yeast yeah. in there and there's things going on it's not like you're filtered pasteurized stuff that you, you generally get but yeah we're also getting a lot more kind of american style beers over here now nice hoppy beers which i, I quite like but yeah anyway i see some people are in the um in the chat i uh, say hello to brian al wayne i've seen al wayne now al wayne is um a big advocate of, of doing i've seen and the keyword golden ratio because i've seen your comments on um another video that we, we may or may not mention this evening Oh yeah, yeah, we probably will. I mean, I think that's <laughs> a great way to put fuel on the fire. Yeah. Um, and if we see Emmanuel Wesley, Wesley, I actually interviewed. You're in Wesley. You're in this playlist, by the way. And so it's Jaron and Ellen and Duke and John. So I'm going to give you know those folks uh, a shout out. Not everybody's on here right now. This is a different time than when I usually go live, and it's on your channel, Alex. Uh, then we got Stupid Robot and Kazi. So welcome everyone. And I think Alex. Is it okay if I um, describe the contest at this point? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't. Yeah, that, let me see if I can post a link. Helen's just saying I didn't post a link. Let me just put a link up on Facebook or somewhere so people can find it. Yeah, but Doug, go ahead. Explain the competition that we're, we're running tonight. 
Okay, cool. And we're, we will place the specifics of the contest um, in probably all of the descriptions of each of the videos of the playlist. So, and, and by the way, the Alex is working on the link for the playlist. I have a playlist on, on my side. It's the same 10 videos uh, basically, and it goes back and forth. So that's how it works. And we just go through the whole, um, you know, gamut of the KGR. So the contest is this, I'm gonna refer to my notes here. The winner gets a 30 minute consultation with Alex and myself. And here's how it works. We basically want a lot of interaction on these videos. So what we're gonna do is ask you to make sure you're subscribed to both of our channels. Uh, we would like you to comment on one of the videos in the playlist and then like uh, one of the videos on the playlist. And that's for one entry, all right? I know there's a lot of stuff there, but obviously it's a high value to be able to talk with Alex and I. So it should just take you a few minutes to make sure you're, you know, do those things. Again, I'm gonna list this out in each of the videos alex will place it in the description for this video so once you do that that's one entry so you'll send an email to me uh since it was my sort of idea alex yeah. i will take the brunt of the emails and this is very important you have to follow these directions exactly i'm a stickler for the rules so you need to follow the rules so you send an email to me doug at niche .com, with the subject kgr masterclass contest with screenshots to show that you're subscribed, that you've commented and that you liked uh, just what I described before. And be sure to include your YouTube username. We're doing this manually, right? Uh, we're not using a tool like I'm literally gonna look and find everyone's entry. And basically you send me an email so I know that I need to go look for your uh, other comments and stuff, which I'll get to in a second. And be sure don't ask any like questions in the email. Don't try and have a big conversation it's purely an entry so please don't try and uh like ask too many things in the email instead you can get more entries by asking questions in the comments so to get more entries you could ask questions in any of the videos in the playlist and you get one more entry per comment so if you just go in and have a conversation with people you can get a lot more entries so if you have questions ask them on the relevant video and if you know the answer to some other people or you want to add to the discussion feel free we encourage you to ask more questions for other people's um or ask more questions just engage in discussion you get more entries if you ask more comments and if you share on social media like if you share the video on YouTube in some fashion or on Facebook, Pinterest or whatever, send a screenshot of that share and a link and that's another entry. Now here's the key thing, the contest opens today and then it'll be open until the end of the day, mountain time, Friday. So the fourth through the eighth, not longer than that. We have to really. Oh, I've lost him. Doug, come back. He'll be back in a second. Oh, uh, well, he, hopefully he'll remember where he was. Um, I'm busy just getting the playlist up and running. I'm going to post a link um, in a second um, so you can find it. I'm just a little bit behind. I say been on holiday and everything, um, but it's going to be up in the next few moments. Doug will be back. His window has died. I don't know what's going on. He's got a computer issue. Hello to Stephen. Sorry for ignoring you. Uh, we weren't ignoring you. I just, I guess we just missed your uh, your chat comment bob's your uncle i see it now hello hello emmanuel hello uh cars we've already said hello to you hello sean hello fat loss planner evan helen of course hello tammy yeah. hello yeah doug's window has died i think doug is back back to yeah. you doug yeah sorry about that i had um i don't know what i'm doing over here so okay we're back though and basically, uh, yeah, sorry, Stephen, you said Bob's your uncle, and I usually don't respond to <laughs> random stuff. And I filtered it out. It's very weird. It's like when you see a commercial or something like that. So now that you mention it, I'm like, oh, yeah, but I was thinking, hey, I never saw Stephen's comments. Yeah, so, I just mentioned that we weren't intentionally ignoring it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so anyway, um, you can get more entries if you share on social media. The contest is open till the end of the day friday or yeah friday the eighth uh mountain time so till midnight that's gmt minus seven generally we're going to announce the winner in one week from today assuming i can you know get through the um sorting and collating of all the <laughs> information so yeah you will i'm going to add the full rules and everything to the description of this video as soon as i get them from doug which hopefully will be in the next few moments 
Yep. And I, I can send that over and it'll be very, um, it'll be very clear on, on what to do. Again, you do have to take a couple steps, but it's relatively straightforward. I mean, if you're watching the videos anyway, most likely you'll have either a question or a comment. You can get more entries if you just engage more. And I mean, you can in fact, you know, have conversations with people within the comments and that is totally fine with us. We really just want more interaction. I know that's a huge, um, I guess like a ranking and suggestion factor. And that's what we want. We really want to have this be like a, you know, an interactive kind of playlist and that sort of thing. Now, the other part is, um, you know, if you, if there's enough people asking questions about a certain aspect, I mean, that may spawn other videos for us to do, to add on to the playlist. So. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And let's see, Alex, did you have anything specific? Otherwise I could sort of talk about some. Yeah, start videos. talking. I'm just putting the final touch to the place. I'm going to share a link to my playlist in a second. You will find exactly the same videos uh, linked on Doug's channel as well. But yeah, I'm just adding videos eight, nine, sure. and 10, and then I'm going to put a link in the chat in the next few minutes. You may get some notifications tonight as me and Doug make the videos go live, um, yep. but they are best watched in order. Yes. And that, that is, that is key. I mean, once we, um, <laughs> once we get everything published, uh, it'll be very clear, I think, but as we're trying to go live with everything and actually announce it via this live stream, it has been difficult to make sure, um, like you don't get crazy notifications, but there's only so much we can control. I can't even keep the window open. So, um, all right, here's what's in, here's what's in the playlist. There are 10 videos. Uh, number one, it starts with Alex. So, you know, again, the playlists are all the same starts with Alex. We talk about, or he talks about the intro to the series. And then I explain the KGR and it kind of just opens it up. If you're unfamiliar with the concept or anything like that, uh, the next video is success stories. So I talk about just people that have found success. I go over, I show five specific examples. Um, I think we have a few people on, we have Jaron, we have Wesley, we have Ellen, Duke and John. So I do a quick highlight reel of some of the stuff that they've um, been able to share on the channel otherwise. And then I go into a demo of a new and improved keyword golden ratio, like template sheet. So there's a couple tweaks that I've added in there over, over time. People have sent me some of their tweaks and, um, you know, I've just integrated those along with stuff that I had for my own personal sheet that I just didn't share, uh, except for within my course. And then after I go over the demo, I send it over to Alex. He finds, um, actually it's three videos where we show like each other or we show how to find KGR terms using keywords everywhere, SEMrush and Longtail Pro, or actually Alex, I'm not sure what um, you did for your second. Uh, answer the public to help you find good questions nice. that people are typing into uh, to search engines that you can then create content around. Awesome. So we go over three ways to find uh, terms. Then I talk about some of the, you know, the details. I get this question probably twice a week. Uh, what about search volumes over 250? That tell you why it's 250. And in fact, um, you know, part of part of uh, the reason why it's 250 is sometimes the keyword search volumes from tools it varies, and the formula is created to be extremely simple, so you could use it, and it's very strict. So it's effective even if the values are off a little bit it still works. There's a book, I'm a project manager and I'm, I nerd out on productivity and stuff like that. So there's a book called The Checklist Manifesto. Um, who's read The Checklist Manifesto? Let me know in the, the chat and or the comments if you're watching it later. But basically The Checklist Manifesto, um, is it talks about having a simple checklist so that it's usable. You don't wanna have like, a 30 point checklist because people won't use it. So you just need to hit the high points. When you extrapolate that over to this keyword golden ratio formula that I created, it's simple, it's foolproof. And if you get pretty close to what I'm trying to do, you don't have to have exact numbers. Could I create a crazy formula um, with a bunch of factors to make it a little more exact? Yeah, but it's kind of a waste of time and it would be confusing and no one would understand what the hell I'm talking about. So 
it's much easier with two factors and a little bit of intuition. So um, back to the stuff that's in the playlist, um, how long the content should be, at least when you're pushing out a lot of content. And then, then I talk about the best format to find KGR terms. So some people have trouble finding like just terms in general, especially when they're just getting started. So I give you some formats and I go over, you know, just some techniques to make it easier. There are some terms that you want to avoid. And Alex goes over that in video nine. And in the 10th video, I go over a case study where I published about 200 posts in about five months. Some people have probably heard of this before. And in general, I published a lot of content and I grew a site from about $100 per month in uh, January of 2016 to about $14,800 by that December. Of course, that that takes into account a wonderful retail season, but nevertheless, it, it grew a lot, traffic went up a lot, and the earnings stayed very high for the next year. In 2017, the site made about 70,000, which some people will say that's not much. Some people will say that's a lot, but nevertheless, 70,000 is, for most people, a pretty significant amount of money. You could at least take a few vacations or a whole lot of vacations. Some people could take a year off. Okay, I'm going back to the chat here. And Alex, anything to add? I know your your head's down, so if not- No, 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 it's that. all sounding good. I'm nearly done. Um, I'm gonna post a link in the next five cool. minutes. Just a few Excellent. final touches. Okay, I could keep going ad nauseum. So um, we have Tammy on as well. We have Helen also. Evan is on Evan. I'm gonna be talking to you later this week. Fat loss planner, I'm not sure if you, uh, if I said hi to you before, but I'm talking to Evan later this week. And then, <laughs> all right. And Tammy says, you're subscribed to both channels and it's awesome to see us together for a live stream. Thank you, Tammy. Appreciate that. Um, we're favorite people. And basically, you know, anytime um, someone compliments me, I, I always read that comment out. So <laughs> yeah. So that is the long and short of it. I know a lot of people are just joining us. I, I know it took a few minutes for this uh, to, to ramp up. We have about 27 people. We have Jeff on, welcome, and Anthony as well. Now, um, probably a few people noticed that I was uh, just out for a little while, no live streams. I went on vacation for about 10 days. It was really, it was pretty fun. I haven't taken a vacation in a pretty long time. So it was fantastic to um, like unplug. And I general, I checked email like twice. So that's pretty good. Um, and I have some very cool like vlog footage that my editor will have to sift through and hopefully tell a decent story. with. It just looks like we drank a beer and ate food uh, on the West Coast, which is actually fairly accurate. So for the people that are just joining, this live stream is to announce a playlist that is basically live now we're sort of making sure that everything is put together uh, properly um, so I have a playlist on my side Alex has one on his side videos are on uh, both of our channels and there's a contest I'll quickly go over the high level points of the contest the details will be posted in the description of this video and probably the rest of the videos so here's the deal you can get a, you can win a 30 minute consultation with Alex and myself. Uh, we'll sort of tag team it and look at whatever you need us to look at. So if you need, you know, help with an SEO thing or uh, like keyword stuff, or if you, you have questions about some more technical WordPress stuff, that's something Alex is much, much better than, than me at. So he, he may be able to help there. Here's what you have to do. So in general, the spirit of this contest is to get more interaction on the videos. So here's what you need to do. To get one entry, make sure you're subscribed to both of our channels, comment on at least one of the videos in the playlist and like one of the videos on the playlist. That's for one entry. You'll need to take screenshots, send it to Doug at nichesiteproject.com with the subject KGR Master Class Contest. Don't ask any questions in there. It's only for the entry. If you ask questions, um, unless it's about the contest, you'll probably be disqualified. So I'm a stickler for following the rules just in general. And basically, if you deviate from what I'm describing, it'll make it harder. And I don't want to do that. So um, basically, if you have questions, what you can do instead 
to get more entries. And here's how you do that. You will you can ask the questions on the comments of other videos within the playlist. So it does need to be in the playlist. It doesn't count if it's some other video about the keyword golden ratio or anything. It has to be in the playlist. And basically, I will tally up the entries when you leave comments. And each additional comment gets you uh, another entry. And then we'll, we'll randomize it. We'll select it at random. And then you know, schedule a meeting. Uh, basically, if you have questions, just ask in the comments, that'll count as an entry. If you know the answers to questions, you can answer other people's questions. So that's a great way to sort of form a community and help each other out. Um, and people have different takes. So, you know, just everyone be nice, you know, everyone be polite. That's kind of <laughs> that's how Alex and I work. Yeah. So just, be nice and polite and you'll be good to go. Uh, that said, you know, no spammy comments. I mean, if you're just commenting um, like first or some nonsense, doesn't count. I'm going to delete it from my channel. I don't know how close you're going to watch Alex, but no garbage, only value. So if you have a valid question, you could ask it. But if you're, if you're just saying, hey, great video, eh, it's a little fuzzy. If you did that every time, it's a little fuzzy. So bring bring some value to the game. Um, other than that, if you share for more entries, that'll count too. So if you share on YouTube or, or on uh, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever, wherever you're, you're sharing stuff, just take a screenshot and, uh, send the link to, uh, where you shared it. And that'll be, you know, counted as another entry for, you know, each valid share. So should be cool. I think it'll be really awesome. And as far as the content of the playlist, um, it's really a masterclass and that's what we called it a keyword golden ratio masterclass uh it's primarily oriented around um affiliate marketing but it really works for anything so if people happen to use or different monetization it stands you know it still works okay well the playlist on my channel is about ready some of you may have just got some notifications that i've uploaded some videos so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to post a link right now into the chat um but obviously you don't need to go watch it right now because you're watching us on the yeah, stream yeah. but straight after this stream um go and take a look you'll need a little bit of time as doug says there's a good over an hour's worth of content i haven't actually measured the whole thing but there's quite a lot there so you'll need a little bit of time yeah uh, yeah i don't know the the total i mean it, it may be close to Was two it hours to when you look at it uh yeah because I, I have some long ones <laughs> I have some long ones in there. Um, and I, I have my playlist here. So oops, remove any web addresses and try again. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not a moderator on the channel. I can't post stuff here. But I'm gonna make my playlist public. I still have to put together a couple. Um Alex just made his videos public, so now I can add them to to my playlist. It's all very fluid. This is uh, an actual kickoff. This is how the sausage is made right here. This is <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Alex and I work kind of scrambling. We, yeah, we haven't done this uh, before. And to my knowledge, uh, actually, I don't know anyone, Alex, that has put out playlists in this fashion. So nah. there's no like instructions on how to do this without making a mess. <laughs> so I, yeah, I should be able to make you a moderator of my thing. Okay. I think. Cool. Uh, see if I can do that. Uh, um, and I think, uh, yeah, we have, I'll just say hi to some other folks while you're doing yeah. that. So Anthony, yeah, thanks. Had a good vacations, Jeff. Um, and I think Alex, are you just in a different, um, your desk is just turned a little bit different, different camera or something. Yeah. I'm just on the, um, okay. the, the one on the thing <laughs> okay. it looks better than the Logitech. I find, I mean, I can switch over to that. I mean, you'll see the back of my head. Oh yeah, that is. Yeah. It does look a little a little better interesting yeah but uh, you know we can we can do it this way but then i, have to <laughs> no, this no. Way. I need to rearrange the office no I, anthony way. anthony was, was asking and i was like hey i like that i like this view is good i, I like that too it's actually a bit clearer yeah this camera is yeah. actually really good <laughs> <laughs> i went out and i treated myself to a new um imac pro oh nice um yeah and for just doing videos you know it can encode a video in like like that um, yeah, I, when I was doing my streams before on the laptop, you know, the fan was on, it was noisy and getting hot. This one, it just just does it. It's fine. I mean, they they start at five thousand dollars. 
I know. I was like, hey, business is good, huh? Awesome. Well, <laughs> I've just uh, I've been over the accountant today. I've just had to do my all my taxes and that, and I, I've got quite a big tax bill. And they're saying, you know, you need to spend a bit more money, buy some stuff for the business. So I was like, okay, what the hell? Yeah. Let's go to the Apple shop and, and do it. Yeah. That's, you know, that's what they told me too, because our margins are so, I mean, this is really folks, this is like totally behind the scenes. Like, yeah, our margins are low and most yeah. a business usually spends like, I don't I don't know. 70, 80%. I mean, they only make like 20% profit generally, most businesses, but as an affiliate yeah, marketer or YouTuber or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. As you say, if you're working from home, you haven't got hardly any expenses. You can put a little bit of coffee through maybe and maybe a little bit of rent and a little bit of power. That's all fine. Well, it is over yeah. here anyway. Yeah. Um, but that still doesn't add up to a lot. So, no, it's, yeah. it's, it's you've, pretty... got to, you've got to buy a new camera, new IMAX, <laughs> whatever, new iPhone. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I was going to say I got this camera back here. Yeah. Um, okay, and I see Helen's on, um, and Helen is asking about the the list. So we're we're going to publish them in just a sh yeah, short just time. Yeah, in the chat. Um, Give it a click. Does it work? Let me know if that link's working. And then um, the other cool thing um, for people that Alex, if it's okay, I'll kind of yeah. talk about the behind the scenes. Um, so like when you create a playlist and people, you know, watch the playlist and people continue to watch the playlist, Google, Google, YouTube sees that trend and like these videos will probably be recommended and other uh, you know keyword golden ratio videos as well so if you find one of them on our channel which you should be able to find them all you'll probably be able to find your way to the playlists very easily and then like i said we sort of uh went back and forth so half of them are on alex's channel half of them are on mine to sort of share the love um as far as watch time you know and i, I appreciate it alex by the way um, to, That's fine. To you're catching me up anyway on subscribers. I'm <laughs> more than happy to share with you, Craig. I think we share a, a lot of subscribers anyway. Yeah, and it's a good. You know, a lot of people were saying, you know, we're we're their favorites. So uh, appreciate that. But you know, it's a good balance because I cover things from a, a different side, and a lot of people found you because of like your your WooCommerce, um, uh, I guess, platform of um, yeah the, the affiliate side. Tutorial. Yeah, yeah. It, completely different from mine so it's a good compliment nice contrast i think it works well and then we got uh so did you have you guys seen the the link in the chat i can see that some of the videos are getting views so i guess a few of you are, are fine yeah good excellent excellent actually you can ask any question you like uh tonight we, we obviously we are talking about keyword golden ratio and keyword research and all that kind of stuff but you can ask us anything it's fine Oh, we got Lance on as well. And um, yeah, Anthony, you could you could ask some stuff. So and Alex, uh, we you, I think people could tell it's a little more scrambling just a tad just because it's hard to publish everything and get everything all done at once. But um, how much time do you have, Alex? Just to you want to say like yeah, to the I top can, of the hour? Until nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, okay. another half hour or so. Okay, perfect. So we'll 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 say that just so we don't, you know, we got other stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, and I need to. There's a few little things that we need to do on the videos. We need to go through and add all the end screen clicky things and all that stuff. Yep, yep, yep. It's always a and little Duke bit of a pain. is on. What's up? So, quick note. Um, I know a lot. This is kind kind of related to some live streams that I that I've done, um, and just in general, there was an algorithm update in the last like month, six weeks or so. And a lot of people saw traffic dip. People took different actions and people didn't do anything. And I know like Duke, for example, did some did some work to help improve things. Generally saw uh, what I hear is a full recovery, if not more. Um, I did talk to a couple other people. And my thought is it's an algorithm like test. Uh, not everyone was affected, that sort of thing. Um, and most of the time, if, if you don't get a penalty, I usually just um, just wait because um, if it's a test and you change a bunch of things, then if the test is removed or things are changed or something like that, you don't know, like you've lost your data. It's like tainted data. So I know a couple of people who didn't change anything and then they their traffic recovered and it actually went up a little bit. So I hope if you had you know good content on your site, you were putting the time in that your traffic recovered 
handful of people uh, seems like they they were impacted. And in general, it seems like people have recovered. So um, Anthony is saying, here's Anthony's question. Where do I start my wife on keyword research and understanding how it works? She has zero knowledge and um, you're not the best at explaining it. So I think uh, two places. One is uh, the, pl the playlist that we're talking about today. Now, the thing is the playlist we're talking about today it's just about the keyword golden ratio. So it does assume some baseline of knowledge. So I don't think if you just send somebody straight to the this playlist, it's too advanced. They won't know what you're talking about. So I would recommend that you send her to um, nichesiteproject.com. And if you get over to the blog section and you go to start here, um, I've very recently in the last like two weeks republished and sort of reorganized the niche site process. And there is a section that goes over keyword research from a high level, the entry point, as you're describing there, Anthony. And then I also talk about the keyword golden ratio as well. After she takes a look at like the first couple sections, I think maybe the sections one and two, then you could send her uh, to the KGR playlist and um, she'll be sick of hearing me talk <laughs> in my face at that point, but she'll probably understand a lot more about the keyword golden ratio. Now it'll take, you know, I would say it'll take, you know, a month or six weeks for all, everything to soak in. Um, cause there's so much information, but like at that point you can have a conversation about the vocabulary and how to approach it. And, you know, I actually taught my wife keyword research too. And that's how it was like, you know, if you're if you're just getting the overview and starting to get into the details, it's hard to jump right in. But that's the that's how what I would recommend. Yeah, I mean, I guess going back to basics, you just want to explain to her why we do keyword research, and the the main bulk of it is that you want to get inspiration for your content. You know, it's quite hard when you you've got a an affiliate website and you, you're trying to come up with article ideas. Keyword research is perfect for that because you can see exactly. Um, what people are typing into Google and as I said earlier, I've done one video on questions So people are asking, you know, what's the best? Glow dog collar for night walking that kind of thing it, it then gives you some great ideas that you can you know You can answer that question in a thousand words in two thousand words in three thousand words depending on obviously the depth of the question and It's then an opportunity to link to affiliate products link to other articles on your site uh, and it's just a great way of inspiring you to create content because just to sit down and think, oh, I need to create some content, you know, it's very difficult to come up with ideas. And, and keyword research allows you to come up with some good ideas that are actually, uh, you know, based on real data around what people are actually looking for and what they, you know, what they want help with on online. And, and as I've said before, your place as an affiliate marketeer is to help people buy stuff. And, and keyword research is part of that process to find out what people need help with, then you help them with your content and then they buy a product via your affiliate links. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah, making sure that she's very clear on, on, on why we do keyword research and then she'll be able to get her head around the more advanced stuff around the tools and the keyword golden ratio and, and everything like that. Right, and um, as we, as people are actually watching uh, this, essentially a working session, Alex, I'm gonna send over the contest rules. Yeah, I'll add, the, <laughs> I'll add it right Skype. now. There you go. Um, and I see we did have another question sent in and I shared my playlist in the chat, by the way, I still need to add Alex's videos, but I, I'll do that immediately after uh, we finish up. My here. one has got all 10. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know why I couldn't get to yours, uh, earlier. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I'd put them as private rather than unlisted, but Hey, never mind. You'll, yeah. you'll all find them. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine. Um, so Sean asks, um, how would you write a post for, okay, so he gives an example, but it actually doesn't matter. So how would you write a post for a keyword golden ratio phrase, right? Usually it's a phrase. Um, the H tags include a table, incorporate popular questions into the post. What would the SEO title look like? Okay, so basically the title, right? I just say title, I don't say SEO title. It doesn't really matter. Um, so the title in WordPress, just make it whatever the KGR phrase is. Caveat is if it's like poor grammar or misspelled or something like that, don't, don't do that, right? But just make it, 
make it make sense. So if it's ballpoint pen, you could say, you know, what's the best ballpoint pen for journaling for, uh, you know, a travel vacation, something like that, right? I'm just making one up. So you would probably put something like that in the title. As far as the H tags, just, I mean, there's no set formula, right? I can tell you a template, but if you blindly apply a template, you're, it's probably not going to work out for you, right? So th the point is, like, I'll give you a guideline, all right? I'll give you a guideline. I would say probably try and have an H2 or H3 subheading every 200 words, give or take, right? Plus or minus 50%. So, I mean, there's a lot of flexibility, but having more subheadings is a good thing. It helps people read it. Uh, more quickly and scam online. As far as incorporating popular questions, yeah, look up the FAQ method. That's a great way to add content. So I have a video on the FAQ method. And then, yeah, a table, put a table if you want to. If you don't want to put a table, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can put a table, but I mean, it's not essential. So... Uh, let's see. We have Furhan on. What's up? We also have the chosen one. And let's see. Okay. Anthony says, we've written over a dozen articles between each other, talking about him and his wife. You created a topics, but should you wait to publish these articles once you find refine the content SEO wise? Well, I wouldn't wait. Um, you could always go and improve it. So I would say just publish it and make sure that the SEO is tight. I mean, that that's important to do. As far as how to do that, I mean, it could be fine uh, as it is, but yeah, you really don't have to wait for anything. So, all right. Um, the chosen one says, how much do you make through affiliate marketing? I don't actually share my my income. Um, do you, Alex? I don't have a job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got laid off about three years ago and I had a pretty good job and I don't have a, I didn't get another job. So I was a project manager at a consulting company. So you could look up the salary for that and then extrapolate it from there. But <laughs> um, I, I talk about certain earnings from certain sites for illustration purposes. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't share all my earnings. Um, and you know, kudos to people that do, I just decided, you know, not to do that. Um, it's a little, you know, money is weird, you know, our, I don't know about you. I mean, I'll, I'll just, it feels like, uh, no one's listening, but I mean, the thing is like, uh, I have, uh, you know, siblings and family, I have cousins and, and other people and, you know, it, depending on the company, it could be rude to say, oh, I make X amount of money. Um, so I, I try and be very deliberate about that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, how is it over there? Yeah, Alex? I mean, you're being very British about money, actually. Generally, Americans like to talk about money and, and whatever, but over here, yeah, talking about money is seen as slightly vulgar, possibly. Um, it's a question I get every every week on the stream. How much money do you make? All that kind of stuff. I've, you know, I've been running my own business for for a long time, and I've been doing affiliate marketing now for maybe six or seven years. And yeah, I'm comfortable. I I, ha I have control of my life, which is what I want. I mean, I I'm not a Ty Lopez or any of those guys. I don't have a swimming pool or a Lamborghini or any of those things. Although I could probably buy a Lamborghini if I really wanted. But I don't want one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I the main thing for me is that I have enough money that I I don't have to worry about about it. I can go up to the supermarket. And just you know, get whatever I like. I don't have to think about how much everything costs. And the main thing for me is I have plenty of time. I work when I want to work, and um, yeah, affiliate marketing allows me to do that. So you know, we're all we're all serious guys. I mean, we're not you know, we've been doing it for a while. We haven't got a job. Uh, we do our own thing, and yeah, we earn very well. And yeah, we're always going to get asked. And I think a lot of those people that do brag about those earnings and they show you these you know huge. Um, amounts of money they're making they're probably over exaggerating a little bit and they often make it sound a lot easier than it actually is uh, i mean affiliate marketing if you follow the processes and you learn what you're doing it, it can make you a, a good good income 
Um, but there is a lot of work involved still. I mean, you, you still have to create sites, you have to create content, and you have to put the work in. But the great thing about affiliate marketing is that once that work's done, you then get a revenue stream that will continue to pay you even when you're not working. So you can go on holiday and on vacation and you'll still be getting uh, getting sales and earning commission. Yep, yep. And I, I see um, a follow-up. I'm not going to skip all the questions that, that came through, but Curtis says, um, I think people just want to know your earnings because you sell a, a course for making money online and people want to know you're legit and the, all that stuff. So totally respect that. I do share certain pieces of earnings and case studies of which uh, the 10th video in this playlist um, actually covers that. But, you know, like I mentioned before, uh, and it, I think it was before you joined um, Curtis, but I had a site that was making, you know, it made 70K in 2017 and it's still doing well. And I share pockets, but um, I, yeah, again, like Alex said, I, I try to be more more British, <laughs> I guess, about uh, just like flaunting that out. Just, you know, it's just more my style. Yeah, um, but I, it's important to right. You've got to keep in mind that anyone that does show off their earnings, there is no way for you to 100%, you know, legitimize or verify that those earnings are correct. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, even the guys that have got the Lamborghini and the, the big house and the swimming pool, I think it was H3H3 that did a, he, they've done quite a few videos about Ty Lopez, who I'm sure a lot of you have seen on there. And the house that he did one of the videos in with the swimming pool and everything was just a rented house. He just rented it for a weekend or whatever to do his video. And the same, you know, yeah. you could rent a Lamborghini or anything. So I think you'll know someone if there's someone is 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 telling you decent stuff and sharing good information with you. I mean, I don't have a course to sell. <laughs> I'm not selling a course. I'm just sharing my information because I want to share it with you guys. I want you guys to, to do well. And obviously, I, I do earn affiliate commissions along the way. And on that note, by the way, did you guys see that You Can Do has launched? And I'd love you guys to go check it out. It's over at you can do dot academy it's my free training uh platform completely free to sign up full of stuff uh, not just from me but from a load of other con uh, contributors 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 yep. <laughs> and yeah go check it out but again it's completely free i'm not trying to sell anything uh, i just want to share some good information and and help people out and, and by doing that i'm able to earn um, revenue from from affiliate streams and that kind of stuff anyway very cool very oh, cool and um let's see so I think, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So I'll, I'll get back to the, the chat here. And by the way, we're going to stick around for about another 13 minutes or so. Um, so we can finish up the other stuff we have to do. Um, but we may, um, I'll probably do another live stream just talking about this like tomorrow. So, and then I'm yeah, back be in the on Wednesday as usual when I'll be talking about it. Yeah. And I'm on one. Yeah. So there's going to be plenty of opportunities. If people are joining up late, there is a contest. Um, all the details um, are probably going to be posted. Are they posted already in the description, Alex? Um, let me do that right now. Okay. So that'll be out there and we are, pull we're pulling it all together like right now. So yeah, it'll be easy to enter. Um, basically we want interaction on the playlist and all the details will be um, probably in each of the videos just so people can see it. And it'll be running from uh, today, like right now until the end of day Friday. Um, I see Nick is on. So cool to have Nick on here because I'm going to talk to him later this week. Um, and quick note about the how much do I make through affiliate marketing? It's fine. It's very good. But the biggest thing, especially because I have a course and I'm interested, Curtis, to hear what you think of this um, and the chosen one, it's even more important to know what my students make, not what I make. Because I've been doing this for a while, but it's pretty cool when you can see students or just other viewers that watch the channels um, that are doing well. And there's like six people on here making, like, you know, a thousand dollars or more a month. Not all of them were students. Some of them were, some of them are not. Um, but to be able to have students that are successful, that's an even better like case study than like me telling you what I'm doing. Hey, that's, that's the proof of the pudding as it were, isn't it? All right. Let me just go through a couple of comments that I've seen that are possibly directly to, <laughs> directed at me. So Anthony says that WooZone 10, a new feature that allows you to pull in products directly through the Chrome extension, doesn't pull Amazon customer reviews yet. I did see your email on that, and I think it's a bug with WooZone. As usual, there is always a bug. Um, 
and I will raise that with the developer. The develop the AAT developers actually often come onto the live streams now. I don't know if they're on this one, but they will probably be on the Wednesday one, so we can ask them about that. Um, so don't worry, it will be fixed. The other comment I saw was from Pastor, which uh, Pastor Duke, which I know is one of um, Doug's students. He says he's taking a look at you can do it. Says it looks awesome. Thanks for looking. Thanks for joining out. I really appreciate. It. I need as much feedback as I can. It's in like a beta stage at the moment. And Doug as well, you should go check it out. I don't think I've even told you that I launched it. I told you it was on the back burner, but because right. of the GDPR thing that, that happened over here in Europe, which you may have seen, we had to launch it just to be able to send emails out without getting in trouble. So <laughs> it's up and running. And yeah, there is a whole ton of content on there from myself and from other guys. So yeah, do do check it out. It's totally free. And again, um, you know, it's we're sharing information because we want to share information. And, and as a, we were originally going to charge, I don't know, like 30, 30 pounds, which would be about $40 a month for it. But we decided to launch it free because we want to share the information and we know that we can earn a good revenue by giving you good information and then, you know, um, making money off, off the affiliate stuff um, as and when it's, it fits, you know, some tutorials, it fits others. It doesn't, the ones it does are fine. The other ones, you know, that's how it goes. So, Check it out. Enjoy it. There's a community on there as well, uh, free forums, that kind of stuff. Very cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. I, I will check it out and let people know. So what? I guess what what all is covered, or did you mention it in there? What's like the high level? Like, what can people learn there? They can learn everything. So it's not just about affiliate marketing. We've got stuff about setting up a business. Uh, we've got stuff about drop shipping, WordPress, e-commerce, Shopify. Um, SEO, Google AdWords, Google Analytics, and we're adding new modules all the time. And it's got a really cool tool that we're about to launch where you can uh, answer a few questions. You can say, you know, look, I'm looking to work from home. I'm interested in drop shipping, and I'm thinking about Shopify, and it will put together a, a custom course just for you. And then you can work through each module um, and try to achieve what you're looking to, to do. But yeah, we're, we're, we've been inspired by people working from home and it's basically yeah just everything to do with working for yourself and working from home we've got stuff on being a digital nomad so you know people that want to you know travel and make money at the same time we've got some stuff on that it's not just me there are other contributors which um uh you know have, have put stuff up there uh, although yes. obviously my stuff is, is probably the best on there but <laughs> but yeah there's, there's a whole load of stuff i'm doing mainly wordpress and affiliate but um yeah there, there's a, a lovely lady on there that does a lot of adword stuff and yeah, check it out. So we, we, we're trying to cover as much as we can, you know, social media as well. And, and yeah, pretty much anything you can think of to do with internet marketing and, you know, working for yourself, we should have stuff on it. And if not, we'll have stuff coming soon. Very cool. Sounds good. Anyway, let's let's pull it back. We're talking about keyword golden ratio and keyword research um, tonight. The, the playlist is live. Let me know if you've been able to find it and, and take a look at it. Yep. And I was going to say a couple people had a trouble, had some trouble with my link and I don't, I'm not sure what the deal is, but if you go to my channel, you should be able to see it pretty easily. I'll, I'll place it at the top. Um, and there's a bunch of, I mean, if you watch Alex's, um, it's the same playlist. We're just both creating it, but we both have videos on there. So, okay. And have more questions. Um, Savvy asked, can any WordPress theme be used um, to build a niche, niche, niche uh, website? Yeah. But then, as Brian has said, certain themes are better converting. Doug, what are your thoughts on choosing a theme? You know, I, I think if you already have, like, any theme, probably just use that. So I, I don't think themes matter too much. Um, from my perspective, it's more like as long as the information is presented well uh, and, and clearly, then that's all you need. So, I mean, I, I like to have a white background with like black text that's easy to read and then maybe one color and generally as simple as I could make it look. So I'm, I just want to make it really simple. Now, you can use... Um, more sophisticated themes like X theme, Thrive themes, fill in the blank um, and make them look simple. But a lot of times we still get bogged down with all the options we may have. So yeah, as far as the yeah. theme, I, I just wanted to see you get carried away and, and you add all the bells and whistles and all that kind of stuff. But especially with a niche site, it's all about the content. You really want 
you know, people, they, they come in looking for content, they're looking for an answer to their question or uh, a solution to their problem. And that's what you want to give them. You don't want to distract them too much with other stuff. Of course, you know, themes have, have a sidebar. You might want to add a little bits and bobs, maybe a, a, an email sign up, that kind of thing. But keep it straightforward. And, and you can get bogged down. A lot of these themes like Divi, X theme, Thrive themes, all of those, they are good, but they, they've got everything, you know, all the bells and whistles. And, and a lot of it you're not going to need. And, and you know, it can just get confusing and it can also slow down your site a little bit. If you've got too much stuff coming on there that you, you're not even using, it's just overkill. And those themes are quite expensive, you know. Um, they start $50, that kind of thing, and, and you might get the same effect with either a free theme or at least a, a lower-priced one. Yeah. My first uh, site, I used WordPress 2012, and it made, you know, thousands of dollars per month. It was fine. So, and if you remember how terrible WordPress 2012 looked, it was pretty bad. <laughs> so, um, oh, and I see a question from Tammy for the entries on the contest. So if you're just tuning in, we are having a, a contest running this week. You can get 30 minutes of uh, con consultation time with Alex and I. Uh, we'll both be on and just talk through whatever you need help with. And Tammy says, should we send them all separately or wait and send all entries in one email? You basically just need to send one email um, with, uh, it'll be clear uh, in the description, but basically I just want to see your uh, that you're subscribed. I want to see like your first comment and then where you liked it. Uh, or whatever video you liked within the playlist, and then your username. And then I'll, I'll, I'll pull down all the other comments on my own and just count it um, on my own in a systematic way. So I don't want more than one email. <laughs> Anthony says, is it 30 minutes each, or is it 30 minutes of both of us at the same time? That's a good question. I don't even know if, if we know that. Doug, what are both, we thinking? Both at the same time. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's a dream, really. <laughs> yeah. that's right that's right yeah um okay and let's see we'll blast through the questions i'll just read fast here alex um some people just want to see a test site to see that it, it works without having to be experienced so i have several teardowns on my channel like probably 20 plus of them so you can go look at those and see those i know um like alex i sent you a couple teardowns too that you published on your channel so there are many ways to see um you know what what works um the chosen one says do you review sites you have two sites yep i do um alex do you do consultations it's not something i i have been doing but i, I might start doing consultations yeah why not Okay. And my rate is 250 an hour. So I don't know what Alex's is, but yeah, I would recommend that Alex, but yeah, basically I do, but I don't do, I don't review sites for free. Um, I would just, if I did, I would only review sites. I get like four requests a day on reviewing someone's site. Yeah. Uh, it's not something I've considered, but yeah, that, that hourly rate or half hour, it sounds good <laughs> though. To be fair, I, I don't, I've tried to get away from selling my time again. That's the kind of whole affiliate marketing, affiliate marketeer dream is that yeah. you're not selling your time anymore and you're earning your revenue from, from other stuff. So, but Hey, yeah, why not? I, the thing is, as, as Doug says, I, I get a lot of emails from people every day asking me to look at their site or help them with this and that. And I have been doing it for free. Um, but I, I don't really want to get bogged down with too much stuff of, you know, looking at other people's sites as doug said i'll be just doing that all day and i won't have time to make videos or do any of my own projects right yep um let's see and i think somebody asked about an seo plugin don't follow the keyword density that an seo plugin is giving you like that yeah I, I said i was watching doug's video on uh, kgr and yoast about focus keyword density and it was really uncomfortable trying to fit it in nine or more times yeah yoast I'm not liking it as much. Um, it, it does some interesting things, but basically for keyword density, it's not written for us. Um, it's not written for advanced keyword research people. No. So, okay. I think people can get very obsessed with Yoast and those little traffic lights. It's garbage, um, yeah. Yeah, they're desperate to get every, everything green and sometimes everything doesn't need to be green and you, you definitely don't want to get uncomfortable and make your article not read well because you're stuffing keywords in there. Um, that that's not going to do you any favors. 
Indeed. All right, Alex, it was a pleasure. I think we're done here. Let's let's wrap it up. So there is going to be a lot more live streams going on uh, this week. You can sound like I'm, I, I actually am a little bit ill. That's why I sound a little bit blocked no, out. But yeah, I will be on on Wednesday. I think uh, Doug's going to be on again tomorrow. The yeah. playlist is up. I'm going to go for it right now after the stream and add all the annotations and links and and the descriptions and everything. So in the next yeah. hour or so, it will be fully fully up and running. But the videos are there now. Doug will be adding my videos to his playlist. My playlist on my channel right now has got the full 10 uh, videos, my, my videos and Doug's videos. Watch them in order. Leave a comment and enter the competition, and you'll find the full rules in the description to this uh, live stream video. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming. I think we did. We did okay. I mean, we didn't give you guys too much warning, but we hit a peak of forty-five, according nice. to this. So that's not bad for a spare of the moment sort of uh, live stream. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys again in the week on on the streams. Yep. Take it easy. Good. See you later.